Earlier this week, we told you about the conflict over the water in the Klamath Basin in southern Oregon. Now, if you missed that story, you can watch it right now at our KGW YouTube channel. Now, the Klamath Basin is under what they call exceptional drought right now, which is the worst level of drought. It's the worst it can get on that chart. Farmers and indigenous tribes in the area are kind of at odds over who gets the little amount of water that there is in the upper Klamath Lake. The conflict really came to a head in 2001, and one of our viewers, Jeff, remembered that. He wrote us and said, hey, Dan, watching the piece on the drought in the Klamath Basin reminds me of a headline back in 2001, right before 9-11. Angry farmers were upset over the same issue. I bet you'd find a lot of that in the vault. Well, Jeff, you were right. So we dug into the KGW vault. In 2001, there was another really bad drought in that area, but something else happened that changed this situation for the people living there. A federal judge ordered these head gates shut to protect endangered sucker fish. All right, federal agencies ruled that there should be a minimum level of water in Upper Klamath Lake to sustain lost river and short-nosed sucker fish, as well as the, uh, the coho salmon. The tribes in that area have senior water rights for fishing them, and since it was a drought year, the federal government decided to shut off all of the water to the farms to keep it in the lake. The farmers, well, they were pretty devastated by that. It's just really hard. I saw my husband cry then, and, and I saw tears in his eyes the day that they said no water on our farm. And that's been true for everybody. I mean, it has been. That's how deeply it's, it's cut this community. It has cut them, and it has cut deeply, and, and it hurts. And every night we do go to bed, and we talk about it, and we don't sleep well. We're probably one of the few families husband and wife teams that aren't on some type of medication. So far we've been able to deal with this, but I know a lot of people have said they've had to take antidepressants because it's got them so worried about what they're going through. Farmers and anti-government types, they protested the shutoff. 13,000 people showed up for a bucket brigade where they took water out of the lake with buckets and passed it person to person to irrigation canals. We couldn't find any interviews in our footage getting the tribe's reaction to all this. But when we talked to leaders from the Klamath tribes earlier this month, they remembered what it was like for them. And I went up to the counter and back behind the counter, it had a, this drawing of uh, this creek and something that kind of looked like one of our Twam. You know, I guess the best hand drawn or a uh, picture of what they thought was a Twam in a stream. And it showed, it said, here's your water sucker. And it showed this basically figure urinating into the water on top of the sucker, you know, like that's represent, I mean, it's like basically you might as well urinate on tribal members, you know, or something, you know. So those kind of things were, have been prevalent. The farmers went to then Vice President Dick Cheney to get more water. He ultimately ordered that some of the water be released to the farms. And the next year was the largest salmon die off ever recorded in that region. If you have any suggestions for the KGW Vault, we check them, we look for them down there. Use that hashtag, HeyDan. I'm going to read some of your comments and answer some questions as we finish the story. Next.